I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I just knew I wanted out of my corporate job. So it's coming to that time of year where we start to get really reflective on the year that's been. What did we achieve this year? What could have gone better? And of course, what are we planning for 2020? This by far has to be one of the best decisions that I've made this year to move to the central coast. Now before I talk about this year, I actually want to talk about the expectation that people have to achieve certain goals within a certain period of time. I'm just going to chuck my sunglasses on so I'm not so squinty eyed. That's better. <laughs> There's an old saying that people underestimate what they can achieve in five years, but they overestimate what they can achieve in 12 months. And I definitely can attest to this massively. So it was about two and a half years ago when my second child, Oscar, was born. And this was the real pinnacle for me. This was the real point where I decided I wanted something different. Prior to that, I was, I was doing graphic design here and there, making some websites, doing some bits and pieces, and all that jazz. When my son was born, I decided I wanted to get out of the corporate world. I want to do something I'm passionate about. I want to be happy. I want to live life on my terms. Now, me being me, I set a goal from that point. So this was June 2017. I set a goal for three months to leave my job. I didn't have a proper business vehicle in place. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I just knew I wanted out of my corporate job. So I started exploring. So the first thing that I did, started speaking to people who had successfully ditched their nine to five and started trying to work out what they had done differently. So I picked up a couple of books, did a couple of online programs, and this is when I started my real journey of taking a business seriously enough that I could leave my job, support my family, and be the best version of Alan that I could be. Now, the one thing that I didn't know about business that I now know today is when you start a business, you've got to take about 15 steps back to take two steps forward, literally. So my expectation of leaving my job in three months slowly got blown out and it was another three months. Or started, I think I actually started telling people that in six months time, I'm gonna leave my job. And then I picked up my first client. Yes, this is the best. I'm gonna be able to leave my job. I'm gonna be able to go out on the road and I'm gonna be able to do my own thing. You know, I'm gonna be able to say fuck you to the corporate world sooner. Doesn't work like that. Not only was I a novice when it comes to customer service, I had no idea about customer retention, building referrals, had no idea about a whole stack of different things. So we're now into March 2018, where I'm starting to run some content, do some video, run some Facebook cards, and a whole stack of other things. And this is usually the point where a lot of people start to give up because it's not everything it's made out to be. There are some serious lows that you experience as a business owner. It has a lot to do with inexperience. You don't know what expectations to provide. And in the hunt of trying to make money, you try and do everything you possibly can for a customer or a client, but it's just not enough. So now you've started to learn from your mistakes. You're starting to increase your customer service, increase the deliveries of what you do, and you're getting better and better over time. Yes, other stuff does happen, but you're slowly getting there. It's now been 12 months since you made that original promise to yourself that you'd leave your job and you're still not out. You're still also nowhere near accomplishing the goal that you'd like to achieve or do. And you start to play mind games on yourself based on a promise that you made to yourself 12 months ago. Then you go into this crazy headspace of, is it even possible? Is this just too hard to accomplish? But it's about that point that I teamed up with a mentor who not only taught me about business, but taught me a lot about enjoying the process 
and really being myself during that process. And this is where I started to have the most rapid growth, is that point where I decided this is not about an outcome, this is actually about the journey. The purpose of the journey is to enjoy the process, enjoy what you do, be grateful for what you do have during this process. The stamina that you build during this process is what's going to get you over the line and actually get you to where you want to go and what you want to be. So this is the point where I was waking up anywhere from 4am to 4.30 or 5, um, working the hours I need to for my full-time job, my employed job, so that I can then start working on my passion and everything else and build up this business that I'm creating so that that turns from a side hustle to a full hustle, if you will. And the moment that I started to enjoy the process, be grateful for everything that I have during that process, that's when things really started to change for me because it wasn't necessarily about achieving an outcome. It then became more about delivering the best of the best of what Alan has to offer to my clients. My focus turned from me to the service that I deliver. And once my focus changed on the service that I deliver, the onboarding process, the retention process, the money flowed in exactly as it needed to. And isn't that funny? Where I thought I needed to be focusing on money, which is a still important factor of any business, is actually focusing on giving the most incredible customer service during that process, which was then going to allow me to make the money in due course. So this is the point things really started to get exciting. And so when I say things really started to get moving, I generated six figures, I built an online program, was attracting some of the most amazing clients, things were just working, and I was working really, really hard during that process as well. So essentially, 2018 was all leading up to a massive 2019 to the point where in January of 2019 I got to leave my full-time job 18 months after the fact after this I set this goal for myself Obviously it took more than three months. It took 18 months, but I finally did it I also attracted one of the most incredible contracts I could have ever hoped for and it was just after that We then started looking at selling our house back in Penrith and it was just after that it all happened that I was no longer location dependent, where I started to now look at where do I want to live. The beach is just my haven. It's a place where I really feel free. I really feel grounded and connected. But that was just in January. The real fun started after then. So after this big cast of confidence of leaving my job, um, not only attracting an amazing contract, but then you know bringing on other amazing clients because I now have the time, the freedom, and all this other stuff. I made the decision to start speaking on stage. I've never been a confident speaker. I've never been someone who is really, really good with words. However, I know that this was just the natural next step for me. So taking this all into consideration, I started booking different events across Australia. And this has also then led to um, speaking on podcasts and at different masterminds and a whole bunch of other stuff. And that is fucking cool. So the business has now grown to a point now where I've been able to bring my wife um, and bring on a couple of other key people to help make this production amazing. We focus heavily on video and helping industry influencers to create a platform through consistent video content across YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, which has been an incredible journey in itself because it means that I get to work with some of the most incredible people here in Australia who are doing really cool things. And the family is doing well. Our little girl starts big school next year. She starts kindy in 2020. I guess the biggest thing that I've learned during this process is to get really, really focused on what it is that I really, really want. Because there's so much noise and you can get so caught up in what other people are doing and what other people are saying and a lot of it doesn't matter. Um, what really matters to you is what really matters to you. And the advice that I'd give to anyone who's potentially looking to set a really big fuck off goal, like leaving your job, starting a business, going down a path, or whatever the case is, is to get really clear on what the two most important things are that you need to do to get to there. As long as you have that clear in your mind and every day you're consistently building momentum, progressively to that point where you're giving yourself time to enjoy the process, where you're giving yourself time to make mistakes and you're giving yourself time to readjust and realign based on what your goals are, what your needs are and everything else. Because when it's all said and done, 
you're not going to achieve everything within a day. But if you put the little incremental processes in place, you'll eventually find a way. Go get it.